My name is Steve Higgins. I'm director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. What we have here is, is a vault, and I'll take you inside, give you some idea of the, uh, the types of guns. Uh, we have probably the most complete library of all kinds of guns uh, uh, that have been manufactured. It's almost like a reference library that people can use. We use for our purposes. Uh, other people can visit and, and use these weapons. Uh, what we've done, what the focus of our programs are, is that we try to use the firearms laws to target those armed violent criminals who are committing a disproportionate number of crimes in our communities. So we've really used our resources in that, in that manner. As you can see, as you look through the walls here, that uh, there are lots and lots of guns, lots of different kinds of guns. To give you some idea, uh, there probably are in existence now somewhere in the neighborhood of, in, in, in this country of about 200 million uh, weapons. What we're seeing in this office, we see a tremendous number of homemade machine guns, homemade silencers. Let's see. Uh, an example of this is a typical homemade machine gun. It's a very simple blowback operated nine millimeter firearm and when I use the terminology homemade uh, this may well have been built in an illicit factory but it's not something built by the legitimate industry uh, we also see quite a few machine guns reconstructed from weapons that have been destroyed by military powers in other parts of the world one of the things we see a lot of today are the British 9mm Sten gun, which is an extremely simple firearm. The receiver portion, which is a piece of tubing, would be removed and the rest of the parts imported as surplus. Uh, for someone with a little bit of basic machining skill, it's a fairly simple matter to build a machine gun from the existing parts. This would be just examples of Certain sawed-off shotguns, most of these have had the buttstocks removed from them just for storage. Uh -huh. But uh, shotguns are one of the most prevalent kinds of firearm in the United States. They're very simple to modify. When they're modified, they're very easy to conceal under a coat. One of those, uh... This is a M11 380 caliber machine gun with a sound suppressor. It's mounted inside the briefcase. The trigger lever comes through the bottom of the case. Right. And to fire it, you'd have the case closed. Tuck it up under your arm. Pull the trigger.